So welcome to this River Publishers book discussion. I'm Philippa Jeffries and I have with me Luis or Eduardo Martins from the Federal University of Sao Paulo. He has research experience in requirements engineering, embedded systems development, safety critical systems and more. And today we are talking about his new book, Requirements Engineering for Safety Critical Systems. Um, so welcome Luis, thank you for joining me today. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Great, um, so could you please start perhaps with a little about yourself and what the motivation was for writing this book on requirements engineering? Yes, yes. Uh, I am an associate professor at Federal University of Sao Paulo, as you told, and I am there since 2011. Uh, I am researching topics related to software engineering in the last 20 years. Um, mm -hmm. Since the 2014, my main research interest is related to requirements engineering for safety critical systems. The motivation for writing the book entitled the Requirements Engineer for Safety Critical System is the capital importance of requirements engineering to improve the quality and safety of safety critical systems, especially in the present day when the complexity of such systems are, has increased exponentially. And furthermore, although there are several published books on requirement engineering, we yeah. have not found a book that is specifically focused on the usage and application of a specific approach uh, to okay. requirements engineering in the safety critical systems domain. Uh, just uh, the organization of this book was done in collaboration with Professor Tony Gorczak, uh, who mm -hmm. is a software engineer professor at the Blekinge Institute of Technology in Sweden. So thank you, Tony, for our collaboration. <laughs> yes, um, and kind of, yeah, talking about the topic a bit more. So what exactly is requirements engineering and how is it linked to safety critical systems? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> we, can, we can see requirements engineering from two points of view, okay. as a research field and as a professional practice. As a research field, requirement engineering is a research subject shared both to systems engineering and software engineering. Mm -hmm. The requirement engineering research community investigates the problems related to elicitation, analysis, specifications and modeling, validation and verification, as well as the management of systems and software mm -hmm. requirements. We develop methods, techniques, process and tools to improve the requirements. Um, as a professional practice, requirement engineering is a process with the intention to build a requirements document that describes okay. the goals and needs of the system stakeholders. Such document is the ground to the system or software development. The activities of requirement engineering as a process are the same as I mentioned in the research field, elicitation, analysis, specification, validation and management of requirements. Therefore, there is a close relation between requirement engineering, both as a research field and professional practice. Therefore, requirement engineering is an applied science. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I just had one extra thought. Um, so requirements engineering, especially when looking at and using it on critical based systems, is something uh, that you need to kind of consider for developing something practically or like during at, at all points? Uh, we can use requirement engineering uh, uh, always when we need to understand what the application need, what are mm -hmm. the real uh, necessities of the users, of the stakeholders. So requirement engineering is uh, uh, a large process that can be used to develop any kind of system. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And when specifically we're looking at safety critical systems, um, your book talks about a lot of different examples, practically so kind of in medical, within aviation, um, yeah, systems that really kind of are important for safety. Uh, the book also talks about how now we are often combining consumer and critical based systems. For example, I think uh, the example you use is smartwatches supplementing medical equipment. What impact is that this increased mixing of consumer and critical base systems having, uh, particularly on safety aspects? Yeah, yeah I think that's a, a very good point. Uh, the impacts are several. Mm -hmm. Firstly, systems and software need to be increasingly safe and secure, which yeah. means that the requirement engineering process for these systems needs to be more robust and careful than before. When uh, 
consumers interact directly with safety critical systems, the systems needed to be friendlier and smarter, capable mm -hmm. of perceiving unsafe actions that users may take. Therefore, the systems have to be equipped with safety mechanisms that avoid risky and dangerous situations. On the other hand, friendlier, smarter, and safer systems are more complex and difficult to develop, which means that the development process of these systems needs to be more reliable than those we use to develop no critical systems. Naturally, the requirements engineer for those systems will demand more effort, both due to the integration with the hazard analysis with mm -hmm. such systems demand, as well as with the certification process that safe critical systems should comply. Okay, um, and just another question on this. So the kind of, going back to the smartwatches kind of example, the ones that you're seeing in the market today, would you say they are kind of successfully balancing that kind of requirements engineering and the safety aspects, as well as kind of the friend, user friendliness and the smart aspect? Oh, um, I don't think I get the point. Uh, could you explain better what uh, you so, want to? Yeah, so you said we're saying how for these kind of combination of consumer and critical based systems, you have to balance the kind of requirements engineering and the safety aspect with the uh, user friendliness, the uh, smart aspect. Nowadays, would you say the products we have are successful in that or there's still an issue there? I think there are still issues in that. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, because the, the interface, the user interface uh, should be uh, very easy to, to the users. Uh, when you have a, a complex interface mm -hmm. or when the interface brings some difficult to use the system, to use the software. This can bring some hazard situation. So I think this uh, needs uh, to improve. Yes, yeah. the, the current systems has a lot of to improve about this, this question. Okay. Um, and kind of moving on from that, how do you see the future of requirements engineering and safety critical systems? Safety critical systems are, are becoming increasingly automated and software dependent. Mm -hmm. The control of unsafe actions that can lead to dangerous situations has become more and more responsibility of the software that controls the systems. The more control uh, we take away from human responsibility and transfer it to software agents, the more robust the systems development process need to be. This is happening with today's safety critical systems and is only going to increase, mm -hmm. which means that we will need a requirement engineering process more integrated with the other important areas of systems development, such as safety engineering, risk analysis, system design and integration tests. Particular attention will be given to the need for greater integration between requirement engineering and safety engineering. Today, mm -hmm. Teams working on system requirements and safety analysis still do so separately or at the best loosely integrated. The integration between these teams needs to be strengthened. Okay, interesting. Um, and I'm afraid we're kind of coming to the end um, of our time here. But finally, my last question, um, what do you hope readers will take away from your book? In this book, we delve completely into the universe of systems and software requirements for the context of safety critical systems. Readers will have in their hands a book that focuses on the main issues when the aim is to elicit, analyze, and specify and validate the requirements for safety critical systems. Practitioners, researchers, and students will have the opportunity to get in touch with a variety of approaches that will help them to better understand and manage the issues faced when building requirements for safety critical systems. The book discusses requirement engineering approach in different domains, spanning reach, reach such as aerospace, defense, and medical equipment. Moreover, we will, give, we will learn about uh, important requirement engineering trends that impact the development of safety critical systems getting in touch with both traditional and innovative approach that seek to ensure a solid construction of the safety requirements. Great, thank you, Louise. Um, thank you for joining me. And again, congratulations on the book.
Thank you very much for this opportunity.